What's up guys, I'm Rasim from rossmartech.com and this is my first video in my new tutorial series, Objective-C Programming. Now if you guys don't know what Objective-C Programming is, it's Apple's programming language for developing software and apps for OS X and iOS. Now if you guys want to learn how to develop apps for OS X and iOS, you're going to first have to learn Objective-C. Now, to follow along with my tutorial series, you're going to need a Mac. If you don't have a Mac, you can't follow along. But uh, if you do have a Mac, you're ready to go. Now, the first thing we're going to need to do is download a code called Xcode. Now, if you don't have Xcode, uh, you can download it. You could go to your App Store here. Click on App Store. And in the search in the top right, type in Xcode. Click on Xcode. And it's the first link on the left side here you should see Xcode and it's completely free. Now it's going to take a while to download. It is a big file. It is a two gigabyte file but uh, you're going to click on install. It's going to download and install it. Once it's finished downloading and installing you're going to click this to get out of here. You're going to open up Launchpad and on Launchpad on top here in the search you're going to type in Xcode and then you're going to click Xcode and it's going to launch for the first time. Now we got to create a new Xcode project. To do that, click on create a new Xcode project. Now under OS X, click on application. Make sure command line tools is selected. Click next. You got to give your product a name. I'll call mine test. You can name it whatever you want, depending on your project. I'm going to call mine test. And company identifier, you can name it the same thing. It doesn't matter. Now this is very important. Under type, you got to make sure that foundation is selected. Now, by default, C is selected. So once you get down to type, make sure you select Foundation. Then we're going to click on Next. Now I'll click on Create here. I have one, so I'm just going to click on Replace. Doesn't matter. All right, so this is the main GUI for Xcode here. Now, the, the page where we're going to be doing most of our work is the main.m. This is where we're going to do all our coding here. We're going to basically be on this page for our entire tutorial series. Now. By default, Xcode has gave us a Hello World program to play with. And um, I'm not going to tell you how this code works. I'm not going to explain all the code in this tutorial series. I'm going to save that for another class. But I will show you how to run this program. All right, to run the program, we're going to click on this play button here. It looks like a play button, but it, it's a build button. Click on build, and it should build successfully. If it did, on the bottom right-hand corner here, this is our command prompt, and it printed out Hello World. So it worked. Now, let's say you got an error message. Let's make an error message. I'm going to delete a semicolon. Now, let's hit run again. And it, we got an error message here. It highlighted the exact line where the error occurred. And it said expected semicolon after expression. And as you can see, it has a little arrow here telling you that there should be a semicolon here. So we're going to add the semicolon back. And we're going to hit run again. And it worked. Down here, it printed out hello world again. So that's pretty much it. Now, if you guys are going to follow along with my tutorial series, please subscribe to my channel. If you guys like this video, please give me a like. I'm Rasim from RasmerTech.com and thanks for watching.